Hi everyone. Today in this video let us discuss one of the medication Vigabactrin. What is this drug Vigabactrin? This is one of the medication which is classified as anti-epileptic agent. Among the many of the anti-epileptics, Vigabactrin is one of the anti-epileptic. And interestingly, this drug name also includes one of the term that is the GABA. GABA is one of the neurotransmitter within the CNS which is inhibitory in nature. It can reduce the neuronal excitation. And here we can also observe another letter T within the name. So the term GABA T is present in this name. This GABA T indicates one of the enzyme GABA transaminase. This is one of the enzyme which is responsible for metabolism of GABA. And finally we can identify the suffix in which indicates it is an inhibitor. So simply Vigabatrin is a GABA transaminase inhibitor. By inhibiting the GABA transaminase, it can inhibit the metabolism, thereby it can increase the GABA levels within the CNS. In the CNS, different types of ion channels play an important role. Among them sodium channels are very important as well as the calcium channels. Both sodium and calcium channels can produce depolarization and they can produce neuronal excitation. But when this excitation is excessively stimulated, it can result in the development of epilepsy. So this excessive neuronal excitation can be controlled by other types of ion channels like chloride channels. Now these chloride channels when they are entering into the neurons, they can produce hyperpolarization, thereby they can reduce the neuronal excitation. In order to increase the chloride activity, one of the neurotransmitters required that is GABA. So GABA can open the chloride channels, thereby it can control the neuronal excitation. Now just we have seen that Vigabatrin can increase the GABA levels within the CNS, thereby it can reduce neuronal excitation. So Vigabatrin can be used as an adjunctive therapy along with other anti-epileptic agents in the treatment of refractory complex partial seizures. Here the term complex indicates which is associated with loss of consciousness and partial seizures where they are affecting a particular area of the brain. And the term refractory indicates that they are not easily treated with other anti-epileptic agents. So in such conditions, Vigabatrin can be given along with other anti-epileptic drugs in order to control complex partial seizures. This drug can be given both in the adults as well as in the children. In the children with age greater than 10 years, it can be used. Similarly, this drug can be used for monotherapy in the infantile epilepsy, the epilepsy generated within the infants can be treated by Vigabatrin. This can be given in the infants with age 1 month to 2 years. But here the benefits of Vigabatrin should be checked or the side effects of Vigabatrin such as vision loss. So today in this video we are going to discuss Vigabatrin, how this drug acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. First of all let us see how this drug acts. Within the CNS, few of the neurons are inhibitory in nature. They store one of the neurotransmitter GABA. Gamma aminobutyric acid. This GABA can be stored into the storage vesicles, which is ready for exocytosis. And when the action potential reaches to the presynaptic neurons, these GABA mediators can be released and it can act on postsynaptic neurons. But within the presynaptic neuron, another enzyme is present that is GABA transaminase, which is responsible for metabolism of GABA. The released GABA can act on postsynaptic neurons, which are expressed with GABA receptors like GABA A or GABA B. Now, when action potential reaches to the presynaptic neuron, GABA can be released. It can act on GABA A receptors, which opens the chloride channels. Now, chloride ions can enter into the neuron where they produce hyperpolarization. In this way, they can produce an inhibitory effect on the neurons, thereby they can control neuronal excitation. But the action of GABA depends on its release and its release depends on how it is packed into the storage vesicles. The free GABA within the presynaptic neurons can be metabolized by one of the enzyme GABA transaminase. It can be converted into its metabolite succinic semialdehyde. This is the inactive metabolite which cannot produce the actions of GABA. So if GABA is not packed into the vesicles, it is metabolized by this enzyme, which reduce the GABA activity. Now Vigabatrin is one of the medication which can inhibit the GABA transaminase enzyme irreversibly, thereby it can increase the levels of GABA within the CNS. 
This increases the inhibitory response thereby can control neuronal excitation. That's why this drug can be used in the conditions like complex partial seizures. Now let us the precautions of this drug. One of the important precautions of Vigabatrin is that this drug can produce some serious vision loss in the people. This is more important that that's why there should be an assessment between the benefits or the risks produced by this drug. When the benefits are more compared with risks, then Vigabatrin can be used. But still this drug can produce a significant vision loss in all the people. That's why this drug should be carefully used. And when it is not effective within the three months, then it should be stopped. Particularly in the infants, when it is not effective within two to four months, then it should be stopped in order to avoid any vision loss produced by this drug. And the important precaution is that this drug can produce anemia in the people. So decreased hemoglobin levels may produce anemia, which increase the fatigue. And it can also increase the edema. Swelling of the legs can be observed with this Vigabatrin. Similarly, this drug can produce another condition, peripheral neuropathy. It is a neuropathic pain which can produce some numbness in the feet as well as tingling sensation. These side effects can be produced by Vigabatrin. Similarly, this drug can produce some somnolence of the people, the sleepiness. So drowsiness can be produced by this medication. It can also increase the fatigue, lack of energy. And because of somnolence and drowsiness, there may be risk of any accidents while driving the vehicles or working with machinery. So with the initial treatment with Vigabatrin, care should be taken while driving the vehicles or working with machinery. Similarly, this drug can increase the weight gain, which is more troublesome in many of the people because it can be used for a few months in order to show any anti-epileptic effect. Now let's see the side effects of this medication. The important side effect, it can produce some blurred vision. It can also produce some vision loss, which is variable from patient to the patient. And it can also produce some confusion, memory impairment, somnol and sleepiness can be produced. It can also produce some fatigue, lack of energy, weight gain, tremors can also be observed with this medication. And in few of the people, this drug can produce some bronchitis, bronchial inflammation can be produced by Vigabatrin. How it is given? This drug is available as a tablet at a strength of 500 mg. Initially for adults as well as children with age greater than or equal to 17 years, it can be given at a dose of 500 mg given two times daily. So the total dose is 1000 mg per day and the dose can be slowly increased after one week of the treatment to a target dose of 3000 mg per day. For the children with age 10 to 16 years, it can be started at 250 mg given twice daily. So the total daily dose is 500 mg initially and the dose can be slowly increased up to 2000 mg per day. In the treatment of infantile epilepsy, this drug can be given based on the body weight. It can be given at a dose of 50 mg per kg per day. So that's all about this medication Vigabatrin, which is a anti-epileptic drug which increases GABA levels within the CNS by inhibiting GABA transaminase enzyme. But vision loss is one of the important serious side effects produced by this medication. Whenever this drug shows more benefits or risks, then this drug should be indicated and it is particularly used in the refractory complex partial seizures as an adjunctive therapy as well as in the infantile epilepsy it can be given as monotherapy. So that's all about this medication Vigabatrin. That's for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.